Hi everyone, welcome to Nautilus and the Battleship Wisconsin Virtual Adventures. Today we're talking about Battleship Overnights aboard the Battleship, as well as one of our specific activities about stargazing. But before we do that, let's talk about what do we do as part of our Battleship Overnight program. How many of you have had the opportunity of sleeping on a ship? or specifically a historic battleship in downtown Norfolk or Battleship Wisconsin. Um, you have that opportunity to do that. Lots of different things we do during our overnights is you get to sleep in original berthing of what the sailors slept in when they were here during our three wars that it served. Um, you get to eat in our ward room where the officers were able to eat. Um, they're able to do guided tours where you're able to go in different areas that aren't open to the general public as part of our private guided tour areas. Um, and you're able to take in lots of fun educational activities. And if you're a scout, you're able to earn um, lots of different types of requirements, including those that focus on astronomy and stargazing. So let's talk about different types of instruments you would use if you were navigating using celestial navigation. Ships um, still today use celestial bodies, sun, moon, stars, constellations. Um, think about it, guys. We use GPS, we use technology, now everywhere. And what happens if the power goes out? What if your phone goes dead? Things like that. Um, so we understand if we don't have the technology, we've got to be flexible and adaptable. And so one of the things that ships have is, this is called a sextant. And this is the actual one that was used on the battleship Wisconsin. So the sextant is used uh, where they determine angular distances between a celestial body, such as our North Star, also called Polaris, and the horizon. So they figure out those distances to get their latitude or altitude, as sometimes it's called, their sighting. So that's what they're using, their sighting. Now let's move over to what we use as part of our overnight um, instruments. Um, so this determines our latitude. Um, now, if you were to wanting to get your full coordinates, your latitude and your longitude, latitude runs here, longitude runs here, get right in the middle and get your full coordinates of where you're at. Um, the thing is, you'll need to know your time if you are getting longitude. This is called a marine chronometer. It's a clock you use on your ship and it's made where it can move um, and stay stable as the ship is moving too. So this is called a marine chronometer using conjunction of other navigational instruments to help. Um, get your full coordinates. At the overnights, we do an activity called stargazing where we split the groups up. They've got different positions, you know, team building activities. Each person has their own role um, of doing them. So some of our attendees will end up doing um, the telescopes. Some of them will be in binoculars. Some of them will use a monocular. Um, and then um, some of them will be using our sky wheels or star wheels is what they're called. And we're looking for different types of stars, planets. Um, don't wanna look directly into the sun, especially since it's an overnight, we're at nighttime. So maybe use the moon to look for. Um, so we have the group, we give them a sign celestial body, like a constellation, um, Orion, Andromeda, Cassiopeia, all them cool um, constellations. Little Dipper, Ursa Minor is what we're talking about because it comes right off of Polaris, the North Star, right at the top. Gray in the Southern Hemisphere, they've got another star, um, Sirius, or they follow the crux, the cross that's down there. But in our area up here, we teach them about the different constellations. We teach them how to identify and locate them up in the sky. And then the plotter of the team is going to draw it as giving direction from its other team members on there. They draw what they've been given. So this one has the moon up here. It has the planet, different unknown stars that are up there. And then this is the Little Dipper, Ursa Minor, Little Bear. Um, and here's our North Star, star Polaris um, that comes right off of the handle off of that. One thing we do is the date and the time. Um, so we can tell because it's gonna, the position is gonna be totally different from one night to the next as we rotate on our earth here. And of course, our compass rose that's on there too. So lots of different, um, instruments, navigational tools that we use to teach our guests as part of our battleship overnights, but also they still use it in the ships today as backup plans. So lots of good different instrument, instruments that we use here, lots of cool stargazing activities for you to do. You can do these at home if you have any of these. I had a sky wheel at home myself too. So lots of different things, lots of cool activities. Check out our Facebook page on Nauticus for virtual adventures and learn all about our battleship overnight and stargazing. Thank you.